The Congress party has been routed in Gujarat and it might have won Himachal Pradesh, but the Congress hasn't won a single big state or high stakes election since the winter of 2018. That's four long years. Now, why can't the Congress win any big election? Mainstream media will tell you it's because Rahul Gandhi is a failed leader. He cannot win votes for the Congress. He's so unpopular that he might as well end up losing votes for the Congress. Mainstream news anchors will also tell you that the Congress just doesn't work hard. Look at the AAP, they'll say, out there battling for every last vote. And the Congress, you can't find them on the ground. And Rahul Gandhi is himself like that, absent every time he is needed. If you watch television coverage on counting day on India's main news channels, its national channels, you'd have seen how every anchor, every analyst said, how can the Congress expect to win elections when Rahul doesn't even campaign for his own candidates? He was busy with his Bharat Jodo Yatra at a time when there were these crucial state elections taking place. Now, these points seem to be absolutely valid, but in reality, they're misleading. And I will say they're deliberately meant to mislead you, to divert from the real reasons why the Congress is not able to put up a fight. And these are five key reasons. Three M's, media, misinformation and money power. And there are two P's, political ideology and polarization. I'll start with the media. When was the last time you saw any positive or even neutral coverage of Rahul Gandhi or the Congress party in mainstream media? Rahul is walking from Kanyakumari at the southernmost tip of India to Srinagar, a journey of 3,750 kilometers on foot. Have you seen any detailed coverage of this on any TV channel? It only hits the headlines when Rahul says something, which mainstream anchors can then spin into a controversy and then attack him. This is how it has been since 2014 and even earlier when a section of the media turned against Rahul Gandhi. For the past 10 years or more, the Congress party has only got bad press and it has been done in a calculated manner, often orchestrated by top journalists and editors. This is mainstream media. On social media, it is much worse. And that brings me to point number two, misinformation. There is deliberate fake news being pushed out against the Congress party and its leadership and an entire political machinery is behind it. False stories, fake information, quotes taken out of context, edited videos. They're all spread via WhatsApp, Twitter and Facebook. And then they're amplified by influencers and politicians from non-Congress parties. And then once lies have been repeated many times and drilled into the minds of the public, they return to the mainstream media as facts. And then mainstream media gets into the act to push it out even more. And they still have the audacity to claim that the Congress isn't putting up a fight when they're deliberately participation in diminishing the Congress party, trying to defeat it. But why would the media become an extension of the government and the ruling party? This is where money comes in, money power. Big media is now controlled entirely by big business. And a few of those who aren't are entirely dependent on advertising for the survival. So they do what corporate India wants them to do. They say what corporate India wants them to say. If a journalist has an independent mindset or believes that journalism is about questioning those in power, whether political, institutional or financial, such journalists have been sacked and sidelined in the past five to six years. Those who are willing to toe the government's line, do what their corporate masters tell them to, they are promoted, they get prime time shows, they become editors and get visibility. That is how corporate India's message, its ideology is pushed through these media stars to the average citizen who then accepts it as authentic news, as facts. But you will ask, why is corporate India against the Congress, especially Rahul Gandhi? And that brings us to Congress party's political ideology. Actually, Rahul Gandhi's political ideology. He has openly positioned himself as anti-big business and he did it way back in 2010. Uh, when he went and batted for tribal rights in Orissa against a Vedanta mining project, which then got scrapped. That was a warning signal for India's big business, that this man could be a problem. He might try to take India back towards a socialist path where the state controlled the economy. Since then, 
Rahul has only strengthened that view. Everything he has said has been about equality, about the poor, and he has also surrounded himself with left-leaning advisors. At least that's the allegation against him. And after the Congress was defeated in 2014, Rahul's attacks on big business houses have only increased. They haven't reduced. So the richest business families and companies in India have every reason to want to keep him out of power and to finance anyone who can keep Rahul out of power. The problem for corporate India and its compliant media is that Rahul's politics could actually well work in a country where 70% of people are poor, where the top 10% own most of the wealth and corner, corner most of the country's income. The best way to stop the poor from uniting on economic issues is to make them unite under the banner of religion, in other words, to polarize them. And that is what is increasingly happening in India, where the national media, social media, those in power, those leading institutions have all united to push a polarizing ideology. Hindus versus Muslims, majority versus minority, the entire ruling classes are united to attack secularism and liberalism, which makes it very difficult for the Congress party to promote its own politics. It is in this atmosphere that the Congress has to fight elections, with odds heavily tilted against it. When the field is so badly skewed against the party, it is very difficult for the average party worker or even local leaders to feel enthused to push themselves because they feel the battle is lost even before it begins and the mainstream media pretends that it has no role in this that it is entirely the congress party's own fault that it cannot win elections the reality is very different if you have liked this video do press the like button it will help youtube's algorithm recognize that you liked it and it will then reach more people like you and do subscribe to our channel you will get to see what corporate controlled mainstream media will never show you until next time goodbye